Cypuncula are commonly referred to as peanut worms because of their retracted peanut structure when scared. Although considered its own phylum, there has been a debate if whether it is actually its own phylum or just a subgroup of another phylum, like Annelida or Mollusks. Cypuncula are, are extremely similar to both phylums, but lack certain key characteristics officially allowing classification. They are marine vertebrates consisting of 151 other species, although many more can still be undiscovered. Even though they are widely distrib distributed throughout the world's oceans from intertidal tropical to cold deep water habitats, they are relatively common in shallow water, either in burrows or in discarded shells of hermit crabs. They especially live be below tidal flats and stay submerged in seabed for up to 18 hours a day. They are sensitive to salinity and therefore are not found in estuaries. They are typically less than 10 centimeters, inconspic inconspicuous, and often confused with holothians, acrians, nemertians. Therefore, often overlooked, so not readily observed or collected. Cypuncular are symmetrical and form two cell layers. They contain a true column with a U-shaped gut for its anus and mouth. It has a simple brain with a ventral nerve, but no circulatory or respiratory organs. They move by swimming, in which their circular muscles contract while the dorsal and ventral bundles relax. Looks as if they are swimming on their sides. Most of them eat detritus, which is dead organic material, by mopping it off the surface. Others eat their way through the sand as they burrow and process the edible bites in it. They are considered protosomes, which means their mouth is the first opening that develops. Their sexes are alike and separate, dioecious as their reproductive systems are on separate individuals. The gametes, mature germ cells, are shed into the body cavity and collect in the nephridia, which become modified as egg and sperm storage organs. These are then emitted into the sea by nephridopores. However, fertilization does take place outside the body. The trochophore, or free-swimming larva, undergoes metamorphosis to gain its characteristic shape. Sexually produced cypuncula can hatch as an adult or go through a larval stage. However, some species do produce as asexually. They do this by splitting the body in half, and regenerating what the other half does not have, a process called budding. Some, interest, some interesting facts include that they are capable of regenerating portions of their body, including portions of the tentacles and digestive system. Larger species are used as fishing bait. They not only help us catch food, but we can also eat them too. In certain provinces of China, they are considered delicacies and eaten just like jelly. The next viral thing may be a PB and Cypuncula sandwich. This is the data matrix Observations 3 that we created. As this tree shows, Annelida and Spincula have the closest relationship among the taxon. As for the 16R RNA phylogenic tree, the closest relative was Echinodiamona. Our data matrix showed that Cypuncula and Annelida shared a lot of common characteristics and were similar. However, our 16 rRNA sequence tree showed that Cypuncula and Annelida were not actually closely related as they appear by observations of their appearances. The reason for this might be that genetic sequences can have slight variations between two, two organisms, and this can cause different traits which places them in different places in the data matrix tree. Cypuncula have existed for about 543 million years, a time period which tends to be known as a Paleozoic era, specifically the Cambrian period, which is the first of the Paleozoic era. Cypunculans are said to not be related to Annelidas, but have been classified within them. There are some controversies because Cypunculans lack certain Annelida characteristics that include, but are not limited to, segmentation, a circulatory and respiratory system, and chate which are bristles. Yet, they do include some similarities in analyta characteristics like nerve cords, intestines, and the nephridium. Another hypothesis states that cypunculans are more closely related to mollusks. For several reasons, this comes off as unusual. How do cypunculi compare to mollusks? Well, cypunculans are mollusks have similar characteristics in fertilization and division of eggs. Yet these are only hypotheses as to how the group originated.
The article we found and compared to our phylogenetic trees included other sources other than the ones that were assigned in lab and therefore produced different phylogenetic trees and the ones we created.